Hey, it's Michael. Welcome to my channel. And if you are anything like me, you cut the cord to save money. So today I'm going to share with you my list of the best free and cheap streaming apps. And this list includes a few services that I have not talked about on this channel until today. I have tested them all. And in today's video, I'm going to share why these apps are best for frugal people. Let's get started. And we will begin with a longtime favorite of mine, Pluto TV. And sometimes I refer to this as the Walmart of free streaming services because it's got something for everyone, both live and on-demand TV. Pluto TV has been around for a while, but Viacom CBS acquired it in 2019, and I've got to say it's only gotten better with time. Now, I'm pretty sure that Pluto TV was the first free streaming service to implement a live guide that is similar to what you get with cable. And look at it here. It has dozens and dozens of channels. Many of them are sorted by genre. So I'm going to use true crime as an example, because as far as I'm concerned, that is one of Pluto TV's strengths. Here you can see a crime and drama channel, plus channels that play episodes of shows like CSI, Cops, Forensic Files, and those play 24-7 on a loop. And there's even Court TV, which provides some live trial coverage. But if you're not into true crime, there's just a lot more to discover here. You can see some of the other categories on the left of your screen. You've got news, reality, comedy, classic TV, home DIY, sports, and a lot more too. Now, since Viacom CBS took over Pluto TV, I've noticed something. Let me know in the comments if you've noticed this too. And that is just a lot more content from the Viacom CBS cable networks. I'll show those up on the screen right now. Just a partial list includes MTV, VH1, and Comedy Central. But this is important. No live feeds of those networks. You still need a pay TV subscription for that. Instead, it is content that those networks are known for airing. So in the case of MTV, past seasons of Jersey Shore, for instance. In all, Pluto has more than 200 channels in its guide, and you can favorite channels to see them at the top of the guide. And I'm not going to ignore the on-demand section because that is worth checking out too. From the left navigation, my go-tos are new movies this month, recently added series, and trending now. The downside with Pluto TV and other free streaming services, of course, it's the ads. And with Pluto TV, you are going to see some ads for Paramount Plus, which is also owned by Viacom CBS, and that is a pay service. But let's talk about the free ones. A few other ad-supported services that I recommend are Tubi TV, IMDb TV, Crackle, and the Roku channel, which just so happened to add content from the failed Quibi service to its library in 2021. If you are overwhelmed by all those apps I just rattled off, hear me out. You can always just start with one, and Pluto TV, a great place to start. But also, all those apps I mentioned, I will have the information on them down below in the description. And if you use a Roku device to stream, here's a tip. Check out the featured free section. This is a great way to discover new content. Roku will pull in recommendations across multiple free ad-supported streaming apps, including several of the ones that I just mentioned. Let's move on. And we're moving on to Hulu. If you've checked out my channel before, you probably heard me talk about Hulu's live TV streaming service and how it's just become not so much of a value over time. It's gotten way too expensive. But the regular Hulu, the on-demand service, is still a good value. Hulu's plan with ads is $5.99 a month as of this recording, but you can count on deals around Black Friday. The service has been offered for as low as 99 cents for 12 months, but the last couple of years around Black Friday, the deal has been $1.99 a month for 12 months for new Hulu subscribers. If you've cut the cord and use an antenna like this to get your local stations, I think Hulu is a great service to keep year round, and here's why. One thing Hulu is known for is making select network TV shows available the day after they air. So if you miss a show and Hulu has it, you can stream it there. And this is really convenient if you do not have an over-the-air DVR and those can be expensive, sometimes a couple hundred bucks. With Hulu's base plan, you still get access to Hulu's entire streaming library, including originals like The Handmaid's Tale, Little Fires Everywhere, and Shrill. If I had one complaint about Hulu, it is the ad load. Hulu tends to run more commercials compared to some of the other competitors that I'm gonna mention throughout this video. So if you check out Hulu and it becomes your favorite, that ad-free plan may be worth the extra money 
at the end of the month. And I could say you could still be frugal even with the ad-free Hulu being your primary service. One of those services with fewer ads than Hulu is next, and that's NBC Universal's Peacock. And I'll be honest, this service still has some work to do, but I review it on a curve because Peacock is a pay TV streaming service, but it has a tier that is completely free. What you need to know about Peacock is that it leans into comedy. The service's biggest draw is actually an old sitcom. It is the exclusive streaming home of The Office. Now, some episodes they are free to watch, but you need to upgrade if you want to watch the entire series start to finish. If you upgrade to the $5 a month plan, you can stream everything in the library and get next day access to current NBC shows. So this could be an alternative to Hulu if you really like NBC programming. And I give Peacock credit for this. They make it easy to tell the difference between what is free and what requires a premium subscription. And there are plenty of movies and TV shows to watch without paying a dime. I think Peacock is in real need of a hit and not just The Office. Aside from the movies and TV shows, Peacock is really trying to do a lot of things. It is streaming the WWE, some live sporting events, as well as a lot of news, including the NBC News Now streaming network. And although Peacock has a free tier available to everyone, some Xfinity customers get its premium tier at no additional charge. That is the $5 a month plan with five minutes of ads per hour or less. So now let's talk about an option with no commercials, Prime Video. And this makes the list because Prime Video is included with an Amazon Prime membership, $119 a year or $12.99 when you're billed every month. So if you are already paying for Prime to get the free shipping, you might as well take advantage of the Prime Video perks. Prime Video has a decent number of original series. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel and Jack Ryan are popular shows that maybe you've heard about. And it is also the home of NFL's Thursday Night Football. Right now, those games are available on Fox and NFL Network as well, but starting in 2022, Amazon Prime becomes the exclusive place to watch them, 15 Thursday night football games during the regular season. Now, although Prime Video is included with your Amazon Prime subscription, here's a warning. You will see a lot of ads for premium content and subscriptions. Those are extra, you gotta pay for them, and it's something to look out for. But fortunately, Amazon has a free to me filter, and I use that all the time to only see the content that I'm able to stream with Prime, no extra charges. And just one more thing about Prime. From the app, you may see shows and movies from the ad-supported service IMDb TV featured every now and then. I mentioned that service a minute ago. It's a good free ad-supported one, and it is being featured on Prime Video because Amazon owns IMDb TV too. Let's continue. And we continue with Discovery Plus, a service that is much different from everything else I've talked about today. And that is because Discovery Plus does not focus on scripted TV shows and movies. Instead, it stays in the nonfiction lane. There are two Discovery Plus plans as of this recording. AdLite is $5 a month and AdFree is $7 a month. Both plans are frugal because they are cheaper than most pay TV streaming services, and you unlock a lot of content for that price. You get access to library content from Discovery-owned networks like TLC, HGTV, and Food Network. Again, not the live channels you get with cable, but shows from those networks. Discovery Plus also has deals with other brands, and that is why you will find content from networks like A&E, History, and Lifetime here as well. As far as the content categories, I want you to take a look at the top navigation. There are about a dozen of them in all, but the big four are relationships, true crime, home, and food. So if you like reality and nonfiction shows in those genres, this service is probably worth it. Now you will find similar content on Pluto TV for free, but some of it feels dated. Discovery Plus has a library plus a lot of new content. At launch in January 2021, Discovery Plus featured more than 50 original series, and they just keep adding them. What I found is that the free and cheap services I mentioned today are a great way to supplement more premium services. So let's say you subscribe to HBO Max, $15 a month for the ad-free plan. But then you can add in a couple of the apps I mentioned today, and all the free ones, and keep your streaming TV bill under $25 a month. And of course, my list is just a start, if you are looking for free and cheap streaming apps, check down below in the comments section. I am sure there will be some great suggestions there too. And to make every dollar of your streaming budget count, 
Find a link below to the Michael Saves Streaming TV Spending Tracker. It's a free tool that may help you save some money. See you next time.